The next time you travel, instead of having to bring yet another cable and expensive SSDs you risk losing, try this. Upload a few of your favorite TV shows or movies onto Google Drive, select all, right click, offline access, make available offline. Hold up, that's not Google Drive, that's just a default file explorer on your Mac, or is it? Hey everyone, Jeff here. In this video, I'll first go over step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Google Drive for desktop, then share some useful features you unlock by using this free app, and since nothing's perfect, end with some potential drawbacks you might encounter. Let's get started. Right off the bat, you can download the Drive for Desktop app using the link down below, or by going to the web version of Google Drive, uh, clicking the settings icon, get Drive for Desktop, and download Drive for Desktop. By the way, uh, most if not all of the steps and features I mentioned in this video are applicable to both PC and Mac, so it's totally okay if you're not an Apple fanboy. After going through the installation process, you'll be prompted to sign into your Google account, and after you allow access, the app will automatically start to sync in the background. If this is your first time using Google Drive for Mac, go to the drive icon in your menu bar to access preferences right here. From here, go to the second tab, folders from drive, and select stream files. In a nutshell, stream files means that your Google Drive files continue to be stored in the cloud, but can be accessed on your Mac without taking up any local storage. Mirror files, on the other hand, means that the files are stored both in the cloud and on your MacBook, meaning they're available even when you're not connected to the internet, but it's taking up double the space. 99% of us will just want the stream files option. From this tab, click another gear icon. I keep this unchecked because I don't use Microsoft Office. If you do use it, keep this checked. Uh, I uncheck all of these because I don't back up photos using this Drive app. Uh, I do launch Google Drive on System Startup and I don't mess with any of these advanced settings, but note down, this is where you can find the local cached files directory because we're gonna come back to this in the drawbacks portion of the video. Coming back to the folders from Drive tab, clicking open in Finder will open a new Finder window where you see your Google Drive with a little cloud icon next to it. If for some reason you don't see this in your sidebar here, you can go to file, add to sidebar. And that's it. You can now quickly access your Google Drive documents straight from your desktop. And for those of you wondering what this first tab does, this just allows you to create or select local folders to back up onto your Google Drive. I don't really use this feature because I don't save any documents locally, but I might be missing something. So if you do use this and I have a good suggestion, let me know in the comments below. Now the app is installed, settings are all correct. Let's go over some productive features we've just unlocked. First up, video streaming. Let's say I upload a TV show onto Google Drive from my phone, which I got uh, totally legitimately, by the way. <clears throat> It takes a few moments to sync and show up with a cloud icon. And if I double click right now to play, it is now being streamed without taking up any space on my local drive. But if I right click like so, offline access, make available offline, now I can open this even when I'm not connected to the internet. And of course, after your trip, after you're done watching it, you can revert this back to online only to free up space. The second benefit to using the desktop version of Google Drive is just some good old file management efficiency. New folder, command control N, renamed in one second. Uh, that would have taken at least 10 to 20 seconds on the web version, and it would have been as smooth. You can literally use all the tips I talk about in my Mac productivity video, like holding down the option key to quickly make a duplicate of a folder or a file instantaneously. In the web version, you can make a copy of a file, but not of an entire folder. And of course, I can move files and folders much more easily within the Google Drive for desktop interface versus the move to button in the web version. Or let's say you use Microsoft Word or LibreOffice, you can open the file directly in your desktop uh, as opposed to relying on the Google Docs formatting that comes with the web platform. If you do use Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, here's a pro tip. Uh, in the web version, go to Settings and Enable Offline Access. Now you can open up Docs, Sheets, and Slides files directly from the desktop app uh, even when you're not connected to the internet. 
Now onto a few potential issues you might encounter when using Google Drive for desktop. For those of you who might know of better solutions to these issues, please let me and everyone else know in the comments down below. First, in your Finder sidebar, you might see two types of Google Drive folders, one with a cloud icon and one under localhost without. And the one without will, will not give you an option to make something available offline. I don't know why both exist, but you should be good as long as you stick to using the one with the cloud icon. Second, and I think this one is a bug. Sometimes when you make a file online only, and then you disconnect yourself from the internet, you'll somehow still be able to access the file. And presumably it's taking up space on your local hard drive. I found a solution for this that involves cleaning your cache. It's very simple. Shout out to this Medium post by Remarkable Mark. I'll link his detailed step-by-step -step instructions down below. Third drawback of using Google Drive for Mac, storage space. The free Google plan comes with 15 gigabytes of storage that covers Gmail, Drive, and Photos. So it fills up pretty quickly if you wanna stream videos and backup files. I actually have a video that goes through how best to manage your Google storage by identifying and deleting files you know you don't need. I'll link that down below as well. The fourth drawback may seem kind of obvious, but Apple's very own iCloud Drive is much more seamlessly integrated with the Mac and has all the file management benefits I mentioned earlier. The downside here, of course, is they don't have the Google suite of tools. As you can probably see, the Google Drive for desktop app is more of a complement than replacement for the web version. So check out this video for my top Google Drive tips and tricks. See you on the next video. And in the meantime, have a great one.